Hi, my name is Mass, and here are some examples of how you can set up the level of detail systems in WISE. So in the WISE adventure game, we have this waterfall in the woodlands. Make sure you're in the Lesson 3 WISE adventure game WISE project. If you look in the Project Explorer, I've already navigated to the waterfall blend container. We have two types of waterfall. We have the up-close, we have the close waterfall, which is a lot of different layers combined, and we have the far waterfall, which is simply one sound. What we want to do now is set up a system that when you're close to the waterfall, you hear a diverse soundscape with a lot of different layers. Whereas on the distance, where it's fairly low as well, you will only hear a single sound to simply reduce the amount of concurrent layers. So in the top blend container, ambient water waterfall, go into general settings and select the blend tracks. Let's create a new blend track and let's name it LOD for level of detail. Now, if you close the blend track editor, you now have a LOD section in the blend tracks. And here you can drag in both the close waterfall and the far waterfall. Make sure to arrange it so that the close one is the top one. Now head into the blend tracks again, select crossfade and select the distance to player game parameter. You'll now see the two containers in the blend track and you can decide on which sound should be playing at what distance to the player. So the far one, we want that to activate at about 25. If you want to be precise, you can go down to the coordinates and press 25. And let's set the close one to about 60. As such, when you are close to the waterfall, the four layers will slowly transition into the one layer. And as such, you will reduce performance usage. In reality, this would mean that if we have four layers in the waterfall close and we head into the waterfall far, here you would have five layers. So how can we scale down the amount of layers gradually? Well, for that, you can set up an RTPC. So close the blend container and head into RTPCs and select sound instance limit. And again, we want the distance to player to control this. So up close, we want to have at max four layers. So mark the leftmost curve point and set it to four. And at maximum distance, we want to have only one layer of sound. In the right side, you can zoom in to get a better sense of the gradual decrease. And as such, the sound instance limits to scale. We just need one last thing, and that is going into the advanced settings and enable the limit sound instances to and now the value will be scaled from an RTPC. Let's head into the sound bank layout and generate the sound banks. And let's try it out in game. So connect to the build and head into Unity. In the main scene, press play and teleport to the woodlands. Now we're up close to the waterfall. You can press guard mode if you don't want to die and run towards the village. When you reach the crates, press escape and exit play mode. Now in WISE, go to the advanced profiler and voice tab and set the filter to the waterfall container and drag the time cursor back until you see the first element in the WISE object column. So that's just in front of the crates. But if you drag even further back, now we have three elements. And if you go further back, you'll notice that we have even water drops as well. So now you know how to create a level of detail system when using a blend container but you can also create a level of detail system using a switch container. So if you hit into the Destruction Volcanic Boulder, you'll see that we have two containers in here as well, one called Far and one Near. But how do we switch between these two containers from a switch? Well, you could connect a switch to a game parameter. So if you select Game Syncs and head into Switches, General, Distance to Player, You'll see in the property editor that we've connected the distance to player switch to the distance to player parameter. Here you can decide on what switch should be selected on what RTPC parameter value. So select the audio tab and select the volcanic boulder again. And in the switch group box, select switches, general and distance to player. Let's set the far to default state. And now we can drag in the different containers. So let's take the far into the far switch and the boulder near into the close. Now that's also a medium switch. And so we can make a new container or we can simply drag the boulder far into that one as well. 
Let's try this out in Unity and see how it looks in the profiler. So remember to generate sound banks first. Connect the profiler and press play. Now teleport to the desert. And toggle God mode so you won't die from the boulders. Try to both get up close to the boulders, but also get on a far distance from the boulders. When done, press escape and exit play mode. Now set the filter to the volcanic boulders and drag the time cursor back until you see a volcanic boulder. At this point, we were standing on a far distance from the volcanic boulder. And here you can see that the boulder underscore far was triggered. But if you go further back, you'll see that when one of the volcanic boulders was impacting on top of us, all these different layers were triggered. If you look at the near blank container, we can see four different sounds, which is the same sounds we see on a close distance in the profiler. If you are following the certification or want to learn more about Wise Adventure Game, you can click on the signpost.